Our story is more than what hobbits and elves know. It is time we told it ourselves. With hammer and axe, we cleanse the world from the shadow of the ring and its master. Yet we wolves celebrate as a scattered people, cut off from our one true home. Across Middle Earth, we mine and sculpt, delving for riches, yet the greatest treasure remains out of our reach Moria. Dorin built it before the first sun rose. And through the ages, when darkness threatened our great kingdom, he awoke to lead us again. Until the Balrog took it all away. That was a thousand years ago. And Durin, Durin the Deathless has not returned. Some say be patient. I say we wait no longer. It is time to journey from every mountain. Come, rally together. Bring your axes and tools, craft and courage. It is time we dwarves return. from every clan have answered your call, despite the King Under the Mountain's objection. Lord Gibb, Erebor will not support entering the Black Pit. If the King wants to stop us, he can come himself. Every attempt you've made has failed. This is a sign. No signs or kings are going to stop us. This is the time to reclaim Khazad-dûm. Today, we get into that mountain. Any luck? Nah, won't budge. Did you try speaking friend? Now, why didn't I think of that before? You did your best. On to plan B. Ah, finally. Plan B? Is that blasting fire? I'd stand back if I were you. This is madness. Gimli, you can't. We have to wait for Durin. Durin's not here. We have to do this ourselves. Maybe this will wake him up. Limin Barak. Limin Tagaz. Kazad Dashtin. Lord Gimli, this is another sign. Oh, Hammer It's the Fourth Age. Nothing is going to stop us. The first Mithril Durin ever mined. So much of our feet is tied to this stone. The heart of the dwarves has been found. At last, Durin can wake to lead us all into Khazad-dûm. The fight against the Shadow must continue, led by our new Lord of Moria. Hazen Gimli, you were right this time. Well done, young hero. Now, we celebrate! It was a pickaxe. <laughs> All along, Uncle Balin thought it was a great weapon. And a dragon? Oh. I have some tales to tell, Lord of Moria. Alas, I may not be here when Durin returns. I made promises, you see. To meet Aragorn in Minas Tirith. See Merry and Pippin again. 
Hmm. To make one final trip with Dagorus. Perhaps hear the Lady of the Wood again. But your story doesn't end here. Oh no. This is your company now. May its deeds be long remembered. Farewell. And may the luck of the dwarves be ever with you. The world was young, the mountains green. No stain yet on the moon was seen. No words were laid on stream or stone when Durin woke and walked alone. He named the nameless hills and dells. He drank from yet untasted wells. He stooped and looked in Miromir and saw a crown of stars appear as gems upon a silver thread above the shadow of his head. The world was fair, the mountains tall in elder days before the fall of mighty kings in Nargothrond and Gondolin, who now beyond the western seas have passed away. The world was fair, in Durin's day, a king he was, on carven throne, in many pillared halls of stone, with golden roof and silver floor, and rooms of power upon the door. The light of sun and star and moon in shining lamps of crystal hewn, undimmed by cloud or shade of night. There shone forever, fair and bright. There hammer on the anvil smote, their chisel, clove, and graver root. Their forged was blade and bound was hilt. The delver mind, the mason built. Their burial, pearl and opal pale, and metal wrought like fish's mail. Buckler and corset, axe and sword, and shining spears were laid in hoard. Unwearied then were Durin's folk, beneath the mountains music woke. The harpers harped, the minstrels sang, and at the gates the trumpet rang. The world is grey, the mountains old. The forge's fire is ashen cold. No harp is rung, no hammer falls. The darkness dwells in Durin's halls. The shadow lies upon his tomb in Moria, in Khazad Doom. But still, the sunken stars appear in dark and windless mirror mirror. There lies his crown in water deep, till Durin wakes again from sleep. <laughs>